Hi, today I'm here to do a video demonstration of the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Foundation which is one of my favourite all-time foundations and I can't believe I've never done kind of like a demo on how to apply it on my channel here. I've spoken about it loads on my blog so if you want to see a full review of this and comparison with other of my favourite foundations I'll leave the link to that review down below. So today I'm simply going to be applying this foundation on camera with two different brushes, applicators kind of thing. Uh, the first one is going to be the Zoeva Silk Finish Buffing Brush which is a very dense brush and also a Beauty Blender which is a little makeup sponge that you soak up in water and the apply the foundation with it like that. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a serum on my face because my skin is very dry and if I don't apply any kind of moisturizer or serum um, foundation doesn't look very good on my face. The one that I'm using is one of my absolute favorites. It's the La Roche Posay Pigment Clair Serum Intensive Dark Spot Spot Correcting Serum. And uh, yeah, I absolutely love this because I do have pigmentation as you can see on my bare face. I've got some pigmentation here, lots of dark circles and around my mouth. So um, this has helped loads with my pigmentation. Sorry for the change in lighting, I'm filming in natural daylight so um, it's a bit of a cloudy day and the sun keeps coming in and out. Um, I'm going to start applying the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Foundation on this side of my face, the right side of my face with the Zoeva brush and on this side with the Beauty Blender and then seeing which one looks better and then obviously I'll be evening out um, to make sure that everything looks the same. Just the basics on this foundation in case you don't want to go and read my review on my blog which I highly recommend. Um, this is a gel foundation and it's very lightweight so you can get light to I'd say a good medium coverage with it. My shade is number 53 light beige which is a little bit too light for me but the number 54 is just off. It's not too dark but the tone is a bit off on my skin so I prefer to go a bit lighter and then darken my complexion with bronzers and blushes and everything else. Um, but it's a great foundation, it's very light, very creamy. The finish is um, dewy but it's not a very shiny dewy. I like this for everyday wear because I've been wearing a matte foundation for a very very long time. Um, I've been finding that my coverage is too high for what I actually need so I've reverted back to this foundation for the last two weeks and I've fallen back in love with it and that's why I've decided to do this, um, this demo now. I'm going to apply just one little pump of the foundation onto my finger like that and I'm going to dot it all over my face like that. That's a lot of product. I could have done with much less than that actually. I'm going to remove a little bit because that's far too much. So just on this side of my face. Obviously you can apply this foundation with your fingers and because it's such a lightweight foundation it does work with fingers and it's actually one of my favourite foundations to apply with my fingers when I'm in a rush. So I'm going to use a Zoeva, Zoeva Silk Finish brush and buff it in and get really close. I'm really sorry about my dark circles. My son hasn't been sleeping very well and um, I haven't sleep been sleeping very well because of that. So as you can see the Zoeva brush creates a very nice smooth quite perfected finish. Um, and I find that it gives me a little bit more coverage than with the blending brush, with the Beauty Blender, which you'll see soon. But as you can see, it's a lightweight foundation. It doesn't look cakey on the skin, but it did cover my pigmentation and my redness around my nose there. I have dry skin and I have dry patches between my eyebrows and around my nose. And as you can see, it doesn't look too bad there. It doesn't look like it's clung onto my dry patches kind of a little before and after on the side with foundation on the side without foundation. Now let's move on to the Beauty Blender. So I'm going to apply a similar amount of product, maybe a little bit less than what I did last time because I wasted product and then just pop it on this side of my face and then I'm going to dampen my Beauty Blender with a makeup spray makeup setting spray, you can do it with water but I find that this works just as well and it helps to help the makeup last a bit longer. And now I'm just going to literally pat it on my skin like that. And I find this will give me a more natural finish than the brush. 
because a lot of the product gets absorbed by the sponge so I end up with a lot less product on my skin. So I don't know if you can tell but I can definitely tell in real life that this side looks like it has a lot less coverage than this side. Not a lot but a little bit more. So there you go, that's what it looks like on me with the beauty blender and with the buffing brush. The buffing brush looks a lot more perfected and the beauty blender looks more natural. They're both good, they both work but for now I think I want to even it out to make it look a little bit more perfected so I'm going to add a tiny little bit more product onto my face and use my buffing brush to finish off this base. So that's what the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Foundation looks like on me and I think it looks pretty good, very good for daytime and you can build up the coverage and have a nice high medium coverage. I hope you enjoyed this very short um, demonstration of the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation and like I said if you want to read a more in-depth review about it with all the facts about this foundation, what it does, what it doesn't, how it looks with flash, I'll leave the link to my reviews down below. I'm not sure if I've done a dedicated review but I have definitely spoken about this foundation on my top 5 foundations. And if you enjoyed these kinds of videos make sure to give it a thumbs up so that I know you guys enjoy it. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye! Today's video is going to be all about how, when and why I weaned my baby early and telling you all the reasons and how we did it 